This video is just to refocus your attention on particular details associated with the skeleton. Why? Well, it's worth doing. It's quite a detailed chapter and sometimes you overlook the particular details that you encounter early on. And I just want to make sure that you have focused on them. They could appear on your exam in section A or in section C. For example, the parts of the axial and the appendicular skeleton. Don't forget as well that you also have to focus on the joints. We already covered that, but you should know the number of ribs, the names of the ribs, the vertebral regions and skeletal or skeleton function. So the four functions of the skeleton are movement, protection, support and the production of blood cells including the platelets. You know that those vital organs are all protected by bone and you have to be very specific that it's in the red bone marrow where the red and white blood cells and the platelets are produced and give specific bone examples. The axial skeleton is made up of the skull, the bones of the vertebral column, the ribs and the sternum. The appendicular skeleton is made up of the pectoral and pelvic girdle and the bones of the arms and the legs. So next it's the ribs and maybe this is due on your paper. You have 12 pairs of ribs, pairs 1 to 7 are true ribs, pairs 8, 9 and 10 are false ribs, they attach to the 7th pair and pairs 11 and 12 are floating ribs. So finally, the vertebral column, otherwise known as the spine, it's made up of those 33 bones, the vertebrae, there are five vertebral regions. You have to know the number of bones in each region, so you learn the phone number, 712554, and you've got your rhyme, Charlie tells Larry something clever to learn the names. You never know, this might be worth revising. It could appear on section A or on section C, and it might be worth it.